into emotional wholeness. I want to bring our attention this morning to three important spiritual truths. Number one, receiving the Father's love. All of us understand the Bible talks about God as our heavenly Father. But the Bible also says God is love. So you and I, as believers, we have a Father in heaven who is a God of love. But we need to come to a place where we receive his love. The Father's unlimited, immeasurable, unconditional love sets us free. Perfect love comes from only one source. It's God. Perfect love. And the Bible says perfect love drives out all fear. It banishes all fear. But when you experience the Father's love, it releases us from all every sense of guilt, shame, and condemnation. You know that you are holy and without blame covered by his love. When you experience the Father's love, it releases you from feeling unloved or rejected. Maybe people have rejected you. But the Father's love so overwhelms you, all that feeling is gone. And you're not living in that anymore. Because you received the Father's love. It releases you and me from the need to perform or earn love. Human love is earned. That's the way we understand human love. But not with the Father's love. When we were dead in sins, yet he had this great love for us. You're adopted as his son, as daughter. It releases you from all feeling like a captive, somebody enslaved and trapped because he has not given you the spirit of slavery. He does not call you, he has not invited you to be a slave. He's called you to be a son or daughter. It releases you from all sense of being controlled and manipulated and used. Sometimes human love is such that at the end of it, you only feel used. Secondly, we must be established in our identity in Christ. The Bible says that when you and I became believers, we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ that moment. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Everything about you has changed in an instant. When you believed in Christ, your spirit, who you were, your identity in the realm of the spirit changed. When you and I are established in our identity in Christ, this transforms the way we relate to God. It transforms the way you look at yourself. You don't look at yourself as a failure, as an accident, as a misfit you look at yourself as somebody who is in Christ, who has a divine purpose here on earth, that you are a co-worker with Jesus Christ, you are on heaven's assignment, you are here with a purpose, and you are going to do great things for the kingdom of God. It changes the way you relate to people. Others can be mean to you, but you say the love of God is poured into my heart and I'm going to love. When you and I are established in our identity in Christ, it changes the way, it transforms the way we face life situations. No matter how high the storm, you know that the Lord is king who sits above the storms. And it transforms the way you stand up against the devil. As we journey into most wholeness is to learn to release the past. I think all, all of us, it would be right to say all of us, or at least almost all of us, have had difficult things happen to us in our past. Give up your right to hold on to your past to hold your past against God, against others, or even against yourself. Give it up. Second place, your past in God's hands. There's only one who can remove our past and cause old things to pass away. It's the Lord Jesus. There's only one who casts our sins into the depths of the sea. There is only one who removes our sins away as far as the east is from the west. There is only one who says your sins and your lawless deeds I will remember no more. He is the one who makes all things new. Thirdly, you and I release forgiveness to people. The measure to which we experience the power of forgiveness in our God's forgiveness in our lives is connected to the measure of forgiveness we extend to people. Forgive us as we forgive those. So we must forgive. And fourthly, we must stand firm in our decision because sometimes these things tend to keep coming back often until you stand firm. Those negative emotions may come back. Those thoughts may come back. Those accusations may come back. Wanting to occupy your mind once again. But you stand firm in your decision that you've given up your right to hold on to the past. Mm -hmm.